A very good afternoon. It is exactly 1 p.m. My name is Deo Asimwe. I welcome you to this broadcast of KDR News. Now, the detail. Bunyarakitara Kingdom Royal Commission has extended the term of office for the Kingdom Prime Minister Andrew Biakutaga. A June 27th, 2024 letter signed by Dr. Fred Kabagambe Kalisa, the chairman of the Royal Commission, addressed to Biakutaga extends the tenure to another year. Kabagambe says in his letter that on 24th of last month, the Royal Commission held a meeting at Karuzika Palace in Hoima and agreed to grant Biakutaga another extension of his term of service as Prime Minister from Hikirwa for one year effective first of this month. However, the Kingdom Chief Prince Fred Richinya Mugenyi, who had earlier protested the prior extensions of the Prime Minister term, insists that the extension is illegal. <music> Moving on, Mubenda district leaders have decried increased number of monkeys loitering at the district headquarters in Mubenda municipality. Samuel Mayanja, the councillor for East Division, says that the monkeys are always in offices which scares workers, hence resulting in two poor services. He appeals to the Uganda Wildlife Authority to trap the monkeys, saying it is the first time ever to see monkeys invading the district headquarters. Aisha Ayevali, also a district councillor for Kigando Subcounty, says that the monkeys have on several occasions destroyed documents in offices. The councillors are worried that the monkeys may transmit diseases to them. Ronald Lotetti, the natural resources officer for Mubende District, says that the invasion of monkeys is as a result of increased deforestation in the district, leaving monkeys without places to live in. Lotetti notes that the type of monkeys at the district headquarters are not dangerous to humans, saying councillors should not worry. Now, over to Kasese District, the Bishop of Kasese District, Kasese Diocese, Right Reverend Francis Aquinas Kibida Kambale, has reaffirmed his appeal for focus, hard and teamwork among family members as means to neutralize poverty levels. In his homily, while presiding over a holy mass at St. Francis of Assis Chiavikere Parish, where he affirmed where he confirmed over 300 Christians into the Catholic faith, faith yesterday, Bishop Kibida described as empty any lazy man who instead of working spread, spends time on unproductive political talk. He also asks women to be disciplined and work hard to support the incomes of their families. The prelate who asked the prisoners to cover their church hill with the trees ahead of the new parish church construction, cautioned women ag against turning into thorns like their families, but a center of reference to their communities. George Mayinja, the retired Kasese District Education Officer, called on parents to offer total support to the education of their children for their bright future. A mini fundraising shortly after the Holy Mass saw over 6 million shillings collected in cash 
for the new cathedral construction. Moving on, different civil society organizations want implementations of sustainable development goals to be extended to grassroots level. During a dialogue at Mistil Hotel between CSOs from the Uganda National NGOs Forum and officials from the Office of the Prime Minister OPM, CSOs expressed concern over matters not reaching communities. According to them, decisions made do not provide practical solutions that people at the community level need, which hinders the, co the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. Jalia, Julia Muhumza, the co-founder of the Te Teach, Mentor and Educate, highlights the need for discussions to reach communities where the youth are. She says that decisions by the elite class should not be made in the sense that, in the sense and that they should always think of the effective persons in the order to achieve the sustainable development goals. During the dialogue, the CSOs reached that the country is off track when it comes to the sustainable development goals implementation, citing the COVID-19 pandemic as the major reason for the setback. You are still listening to KDR News Broadcast. This is the news on the international scene. For the news on the international scene, Japan. Japan and the Philippines have signed a defense pact allowing the deployment of troops on each other's soil amid shared concerns over China's growing military power. Japanese Minister of Foreign Affairs Yoko Kamikawa 